When I said about Mad Max Fury Road being saying it's one of the best action films of the last decade, I would say Furiosa Mad Max Saga is one of the best prequels that came out in this decade, and I would say for a very long time. <laughs> What is up guys and Mad Max fans? Welcome back to my channel. This is OCD Movie Reviews. My name is Oz Brinka and finally, leading up, this movie has finally arrived and the review of this movie has finally arrived. I am so pumped to review this one. Today I am going to review Furiosa, A Mad Max Saga. This movie is the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. This movie is once again directed by George Miller. And this movie stars Anya Taylor-Joy, Chris Hemsworth, and Elila Brown. And of course, guys, this review is going to be a non-spoiler review. I'm not going to spoil any elements from Furiosa. You guys are safe here. These are just my initial thoughts on the movie. That's all it is. So let's get on to this review. Snatched from the green plates of many mothers, young Furiosa falls into the hands of the great biker horde, lead by the warlord Dementis. Furiosa soon finds herself in a non-stop battle to make her way home. So all the Mad Max movie reviews leading up to this movie. Yes, I am a fan of the Mad Max series. I love this series so much. I grew up with it. I love the original Mad Max trilogy from the first two movies, and the third one being watchable, but my least favorite. But man, Fury Road, come on. It is one of the biggest surprises of movie history of the last decade. It became one of my favorite movies of the last decade, and one of my favorite action movies of the last decade. So when I heard that George Miller is directing a Furiosa prequel, I was interested, because of course, Furiosa, played by Charlize Theron in Mad Max Fury Road, is one of my favorite characters in that movie, and I was very interested to see her backstory throughout this prequel, even though it kind of does still explain, like, her backstory and we get to know her character. This movie, we get to know her about her character even more. But I was skeptical. George Miller is a great director, but he is aging. We don't know if George Miller still has that charm, even though he was 70 when he did Fury Road, and it was incredible does he still have that charm now when he's almost 80 years old? But I was still excited for this movie because I'm a huge Mad Max fan. I cannot wait for this movie, even though I was a little bit skeptical because I would say most blockbusters that came out last year, I was excited for, but it turned out pretty disappointing. But so far this year has surprised me when it comes to blockbusters like Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the Fall Guy. So, I gave Furiosa as much chance as possible. So guys, what do I think? of Furiosa Mad Max Saga. Is this a great prequel? Is this better than Mad Max Fury Road? Well, with that question, is this movie better than Mad Max Fury Road? Not really, because Mad Max Fury Road to me is very untouchable. I don't think anything could top Mad Max Fury Road to be as great as it is, and I think everyone knows that going in. But does that mean this movie is terrible? Absolutely not, because Furiosa Mad Max Saga is still fucking incredible. This is still a great Mad Max movie in the series and another great addition to the series. And man, George Miller, you have done it again. When I said about Mad Max Fury Road being saying it's one of the best action films of the last decade, I would say Furiosa Mad Max Saga is one of the best prequels that came out in this decade. And I would say for a very long time time. This is how you do a great prequel to the series. Explore Furiosa's character, giving her motivation, and seeing Fury Road in a whole new way from her character. And this movie does that extremely well. And man, this is one hell of a prequel. I had a total blast with Furiosa Mamax Saga. Now, first of all, let's talk about the cast in this movie, especially Anya Taylor-Joy. She is fantastic in this movie as the middle-aged Furiosa, I would say, because we have a young Furiosa, which we'll get back to her later. But let's first talk about Anya Taylor-Joy. She is badass in this film. She is so silent throughout most of the movie. Actually, she had the less line deliveries than Tom Hardy did in Fury Road. She has 30 lines in this movie, according to George Miller. And from her facial expressions, her emotions, she is fantastic in this film. We understand her motivations, how she is feeling. She is basically out in revenge in this movie. And you can feel her anger. You feel her frustration. And man, I love Anya Taylor-Joy. I think she's a fantastic actor. And I would say this movie is not a great performance by her. She does a great memorable performance as the young 
Fury Osa throughout the entire movie. Actually, throughout the second or third act of the movie, she was fantastic because the first act of the film, we get to focus surprisingly on the younger version of Furiosa that's played by Lila Brown, which I gotta give so much credit to. She is fantastic playing the kid version of Furiosa, and I'm really surprised she's in the movie more than I thought. I thought she was gonna be like, say, the first 10 minutes of the film and then it cuts to Anya Taylor-Joy. No, we spent like a whole hour with her in the film. And man, like Anya Taylor-Joy, she doesn't speak much. She actually doesn't speak all that much more than Anya Taylor-Joy. But again, from her facial expressions, she is fantastic from her eye emotions, from her facial expressions. We understand how this young Fury Osa feels and man, this is another great kid actor this year. Lila Brown does a really good job as a young version of Fury Osa. I was rooting for Furiosa on this revenge path because I'm not going to spoil what happens to her in the film, but man, the stuff that happens, I was just like, I don't blame her. It is so fucked up. It is messed up as hell. And you feel so sympathy for both of these actors playing Furiosa, especially Anya Taylor-Joy, because you understand the way she feels and you understand her motivation. She's a completely broken character in this film. And you understand it more when you watch Fury Road again after this film, because I feel like after this film, you want to watch Fury Road again to connect more of the dots. But I gotta say, guys, this is a thing. Mad Max Fury Road... With the title called Mad Max, a side character stands out more than the main character in Fury Road. I would say the same thing here for Chris Hemsworth as Dementis. Man. Wow. I just gotta say this. I'm just gonna say it. Fuck it. This might be a hot take, guys. I think this is one of his best performances. Yes, I would say out of four. Because he is fun in this movie. He had a total blast filming this movie by the looks of it because he's acting in the film. He is a bastard. He's insane. He is menacing. He is what I call a great villain. If I hated his character in this film for what he does in the film, that's how you make a good villain. He is one of those villains that, of course, what a villain should be. Guys that think they're doing the right thing, which they actually don't, but in their minds they think they're doing the right thing, that is what you call a great villain. And Chris Hansworth is definitely one of those villains. And man, he stole this entire movie for me. And man, his performance, I just cannot believe how great he is in this film. This is definitely the performance that I would absolutely remember from Chris Hansworth. I still love him as four, but out of the MCU, this is definitely one of his best performances in his entire career. I'm not going to talk about the rest of the cast in the movie because it could be spoiler territory, but everyone else is great. The replacement of Morton Joe is still really good in this film, but just those three actors, I'm going to tell you Joy, Alana Brown, and especially Chris Hansworth, they're the biggest reasons why you should check out this movie. Speaking of reasons that you should check out this movie, the action scenes. Now, this is not as action heavy as Mad Max Fury Road, but this movie does have action scenes, and the action in this movie, there is no difference. It is still fantastic. There's so many great car chases in this film, so many badass sniper scenes as well. But man, the car chases. And what's great about the car chases, it takes its time. It keeps going, and you want more out of it. George Miller filmed these action scenes, no surprise, very freaking well. And there's so many shots in Furiosa and Mad Saga where I'm just like, how in the fuck George Miller filmed that? That is crazy. There are so many great action scenes in this movie. But I feel like this movie is much more of a different Mad Max movie than I thought. Not because Mad Max is in it, which this is the first movie that doesn't have Mad Max in it. But this movie is a character study. This is a revenge story as well. This movie has dialogue, character development. And I was really surprised. I'm like, okay, this is a completely different film, but I was still engaged. I wasn't bored throughout it. This is not action heavy, like I said, as Fairy Road. So some people could walk out of this one going, I want more action. Or some people could say, ah, this is too different than Fairy Road. And that's what this movie is supposed to be. It's supposed to be different than Mad Max Fairy Road because I love the revenge story element. I love the character development. The action scenes are great, but I also love the story that this film brought out. Yes, Mad Max Fury Road has a story, but it's more of an action car chase film. It's literally like a whole two hours of a car chase. This movie is a complete character study and a complete revenge story that I was really riveted from start to finish. Every single scene in Furiosa, I was engaged. The movie is 2 hours and 20 minutes long, which that is a flaw of the movie, which I'll get back to later, but I wasn't bored throughout the movie. Every moment of Furious and Mad Max Saga, I just wanted more 
out of because of how great each scene was in the film. It has its reasons why it's in the movie, in my personal opinion. Each scene of Furiosa and Mad Saga is in the movie for a reason. And I would say no difference to Callus Games, it did like Fury Road, and it's also really well done in this film. But the cinematography, the location, the shots in this film are fantastic in the film. And man, George Miller is 79 years old and he's still directing great movies. I just gotta give so much props to him because he directed this movie extremely well. It's a great two hour and 20 minute revenge story that I think is one of those prequels that I'll absolutely remember in a very long time. But I would say there are slight nitpicks of this film. This is not as good as Mad Max Free Road, of course, which it's like saying like the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises, you know, you can't top the Dark Knight, but the Dark Knight Rises is still a very good conclusion. That's the same here with Furiosa. I would say one of my biggest issues with the film is that you do fill the runtime. This is the longest Mad Max film in the series. This movie is two hours and 20 minutes long, and you definitely do fill the runtime. Like I said, every moment of Furiosa I was invested in. But, you definitely do feel the runtime, and you need to prepare yourself for a long film. You need to get in the most comfortable seats as possible, because you're in for a 2 hour and 20 minute epic. And also, this film is not as practical as Mad Max Fury Road. There's also moments of CGI, and yeah, some of the CGI, it's not terrible. There are some good CGI in this film, but there are some that I feel like could have been cleaned a little bit more. I don't have any complaint putting some CGI because I can understand there are some CGI moments where I'm like how they can pull that off with practical effects. So I understand. But there are some CGI that is a little bit noticeable. But it didn't bother me all that much. It could bother for some people because they love the practical stuff that Fear Road bring us. And yes, that is better than this movie. Absolutely. But the CGI does not bother me. There's just some CGI elements where I'm like that could have been cleaned. But man, guys, I just cannot complain about this movie too much because, man, Furiosa overall is one of the best prequels that I have seen in a very long time. This is another great addition to the Mad Max series. George Miller, once again, you've done it. Anya Taylor-Joy is great in the film with Alila Brown, both playing Furiosa. They're both fantastic in this film. You root for their revenge path. You really felt broken with those characters and you just really root for them to get their revenge. And also Chris Hansworth, this is one of his best performances that I've seen him as Dementis. He is so fun in this film. The rest of the cast is great. The action is incredible in this movie. The revenge story, the whole dialogue, every single scene, I was literally invested through from start to finish. Man, this could definitely end up high on my favorite movies of the year, guys. Man. It's just hard for me because, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite movies of the year so far with Doom Part 2. I'm very tired with that because, man, I love this movie. Fury Eyes and Mad Saga is definitely one hell of an epic. And George Miller, man for his age, you have done it again. I would absolutely say Fury Eyes and Mad Saga is a masterpiece. <laughs> I am so happy, guys, that this movie turned out better than I was expecting. I'm so happy. So, guys, if you want to see the rest of my Mad Max reviews, I'll put the playlist in the link below. You can check all my Mad Max reviews out leading up to this movie. But, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of Furiosa Mad Max Saga. Do you like the movie? Hate the movie? If it's okay. And what is your favorite Mad Max film in the series? Your opinions aside, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below, keep contact with me, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel now for my latest movie reviews and other movie-related content. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a nice day.